Why's my saw not work? working? It's all plug, plugged in. And it's, it goes down there and around at... What? Right. Uh, that's it. You're out of here. We, we're done. We're not... No. We're not playing like this. You are going back home and not having your messing in the workshop anymore. Right. I think that should solve my problem. Try messing with stuff now. You can just, just go over here and uh, we'll, we'll put you in this box. And you can just stay in there and you can think about what you've done. What's going on guys? Phil here for Phil's Craft Corner. Today we're on another Workshop Wednesday and I'm actually doing some work in the workshop. I've got the stuff set up behind me, but first I got myself a t-shirt. My sister started making t-shirts, she got herself the press and the, the machine and everything and I've been wanting to get a t-shirt for ages so I was like, make me a shirt please and she's made me a shirt, she's put the logo on and she's put another logo on the back with my Facebook, Instagram, YouTube link and links below. Check me out on all three of them places and let's have some fun. Right, so we're over at the workbench and the bits that we've got today, I've got some 3 by 2 uh, I've got three metres of this. Uh, so it's two projects that I'm doing today, so the, this, the freebie 2 is going with the Perspex sheets and we're making some super simple protective screens for a counselling group that's just down the road from me, it's called Counselling in the Community, uh, the guy that runs it is called Stuart, he's a really great guy, they do some great work there, so we're making some simple screens so they can open up and help people out that have been in isolation and it just gives people a place to go to talk and helps a lot of people. So. I'm making some screens for them today just so they can put them on the tables in between them and do some meetings. Uh, I've got some 2B1, I've got four lengths of that at 2.4 meters. They're going with these clips and this paint. And this guy, Carnage, this is a action figure. It's Charlie's action figure, you know, my number one fan, Charlie, next door neighbor. It's his birthday coming up soon and he wants a display stand for the action figures. He saw something online, asked me if I could make it and I can and basically using these tool clips and these go around the stomach here and just hold them into place and they can all be on display instead of just lay around the floor everywhere. So for everything we're doing I'm using my Evolution R25 SMS. It's got the multi-material blading that comes supplied. When I bought the saw I got two blades with it uh, this is the second one, so I'm going to need to order a new one soon because this one's getting a little bit dull as well. As soon as you start cutting metal and things like that, these blades don't last that long. They last quite a long time on wood and plastic, but when you hit metal, it doesn't last that long. So everything is going to be cut on this. I'm not using any other tools apart from this today, so we'll get everything set up. And I will show you what we're going to be doing. Right, so we've got the uh, the saw set up. I'm just going to trim this full length in half because it's a little bit too big to be working with. Everything's set up nice and square, so let's just rip it in half. <laughs> now that's cut in half, we're going to mark off lengths on here I need to I'm just going to figure out what size I want them these are going to sit this way and they're going to have a little slot cut into the top here just for the perspex to sit into there like I said they're going to be super simple super quick to make all right so I've decided each leg is going to be 30 centimeters long because I need eight of them and that's going to be more than enough for the size of what it is and what, what it's going to be used for. I think I'm just going to get a little bit more fancy and instead of just doing a 90 degree cut, I'm probably going to cut them say about 60 degree angle just to see how that looks. So I may have lied, I've got another tool to use. This is my Trend Digital Box Level. I absolutely love this piece of equipment. It makes setting angles super easy on any saw. So you just set it on the surface you want zero it. I lock my saw down like that and then because it's magnetic it just sticks on the saw. Under the blade and we'll tilt it. We'll come up around here just so we can get a bit more clearance. Nearly there. That'll do. We'll, do, we'll go with 0.1 degree out. No angles that are going to be 
going together on this. These are just uh, decorative on the ends, just to make it look a bit better than just having a square cut. So I've got the clamp holding it down on this side. The, this clamp comes with the saw. You just uh, loosen it off at the back, sit on top, tighten that down, and you're good to go. Straight through, fairly nice cut. Flip the board over this way so it cuts on the same side. I measure from there. 30 centimeters there. I'll use this one as a template this time so that they are the same size. there, loosen the clamp a little bit so I can move it, tighten the clamp back down and make the cut. So there we go, that's both legs ready for one, these legs are going to sit separately like that and the perspex is going to sit in here like this, so I'm going to get the other eight legs cut then we'll move on to cutting the grooves out for the perspex. Alright, so all eight legs are now cut, ready to go. I'm going to mark off the centre all down here. First we need to set up the stop depth on this saw, which is just positioned right here. Just this little thumb turn, you undo this screw, and then you screw it down. It hits against here, and it stops the blade going all the way down to do a full cut, so you can cut partially through the wood. Issue with this is instead of cutting right here, we need to be cutting back here for the radius of the blade so we don't end up with a curve in the cut. The easy way to do that is to get another piece of 3 2 there and use that as a temporary fence to sit the block against. Alright, so I'll pull the perspex off the edge of the table over here a bit just to test and I'm quite happy with that depth. Uh, I'm quite happy with the width of the cut. That's just one saw curve and that fits nice and snug onto there. It has got the plastic covering on there but uh, it should be fine because this is going to get glued in as well once it's in place. So we're going to mark off the centre of all the other pieces and we're going to get cutting. Alright so I've got the centre of all these marked. Uh, I've put a sacrificial piece of 3 by 2 in there, screwed it to the back plate. You get these little holes just to run a screw in from the back. Depth stop set up here. So we're going to attach the piece right there. Use a laser line. Safest ways to take two or three passes, taking little bits at a time. All right, so let's see if all this fits together nicely. So you can just drop them in there, and drop the perspex in the slots. There you go. You got yourself a very simple little screen. Like I said these don't need to be robust, they don't need to be really strong because they're not going on shop counters, they're not going to be touched, it's just a screen to go in between counsellor and somebody that's sat in the counselling session, they're just, it's just so they can sit and talk to each other. Uh, they are probably going to be about two metres apart anyway but it's just that extra little step just to help them out. Five minutes roughly to get one of these cut and made and assembled. The uh, rough cost of it was uh, £21 for the Perspex from Wix. You can get it cheaper elsewhere, but Wix was the only place that I found that had it in. The 3 by 2 £6.76 for the full length. I'll get it all sanded and ready to go. Like I say, I'm going to knock these down with a bit of sandpaper. I've got my Draper Pro sander there. I've had this thing for around four years now. I've used it near enough every day and it's just been absolutely perfect. Use some 120 grit sandpaper, doesn't need to be super smooth or anything like that, it's just to knock any of the sharp edges off and any of the splinters away from it. You could have saved a lot of time if I'd have used a proper wood cutting blade in the saw rather than the universal blade that can cut everything that is slightly dull as well. Alright guys, so we're going to peel the plastic protective layer off these. I love this part. I'm hoping you can get some good sound from this so you can hear the plastic coming off properly. Is that in this corner?
peeled off and that was super satisfying. Uh, I was so full of static though that I felt like I could power the whole workshop. Anyway, uh, the glue that we're going to use to hold it in place is one of my favourite glues. It's Mitobond. This is made by Unica. This is Howden's branded, but uh, you can buy this from Screwfix. Like I say, it's Unica. I'll stick a link below. You can get it off Amazon, Screwfix, uh, a lot of places. But what you're looking for is this little area here. That's the Mitobond. It's like a, a gel style super glue and it comes with an activator. So you put the glue on and then you spray the activator on and it sets within seconds. Right, so the only real specific that we've got with these is uh, one of the tables that they're going to be put on is only 55 centimeters wide. So I need to make sure the outside of both of these is uh, less than 55 centimeters wide. Which, uh, we should be okay. Um, I'm going to do it at 50, just to make sure, just so it can have that little bit more space. But well, that's alright there. Put a sliver of glue on the top so it starts to run down. Don't need a ton because that, it, it is fairly tight fitting anyway. So we should be alright. And I don't want a load of squeeze out on this stuff because it is a nightmare to clean up because it is super glue or contact adhesive, depending on where you are. Just need electrical tape and that will help to give a bit more of a reference. And then I'll eyeball again, just sliding these into the slots gently so I don't move anything like so. I'm to get the activator. A little bit of a blast on each side. Leave it a few seconds. That should be good to go. Alright guys, so these Perspex screens are all done. That's all four there. I know it's difficult to see because they're see-through, but there is four there. Uh, they're all done. We're all ready to go. I'm sorry I didn't get the video of the last two, but the garage across the way started fitting a couple of tyres just as I was getting finished up, and it was super noisy. The joys of working across the road from a garage. Alright guys, so we finished for the day. I'm going to pop back tomorrow. We're going to start painting Charlie's character hangers. Uh, I could do that today, but I've got to get home, I've got to edit this video, I've got to post it. And I also don't like to stay too long because it kind of gets me bogged down and I stop enjoying my work and it makes me not want to go to get to the workshop. Uh, but we did get the Perspex screen covers finished. Uh, they were nice and quick. I did measure out all along here where the dividers are going to be so all these will be so that sits flush with the end and then um, we can fit 12 on this i will see you guys in the next video thanks for watching i hope it was somewhat entertaining for you sorry a car's just gone past like i say hard working across the way from a garage but it is what it is we've got to do what we've got to do and i will see you in the next video